All right, so here's what happens when you have an address set, or I should say a battery set to zero, and you try to read it with the BMS test tool. So I'm gonna add seven, because I'm using address zero, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, which it's, I could add zero, then start with two, but we just do it this way. So adding, starting at zero, I'm gonna add seven sequences. So we got address zero, which is the, the main battery. One, not used. Two, three, four, five, and six are. Okay, so here you can see none of the packs are loading. But you can see I got some of the data, like surface data from a few of the batteries. So three and six, I'm guessing. Zero, oh, there's data for zero. So the thing is, this information will take a while. Oh, we got one battery loaded. But it's not in real time. All right, apparently touch screen's not working. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna run down here. I'm going to disable this one breaker, and this is zero. All those dip switches are down. And watch what happens up here. They start populating. Now remember, zero is the main battery that talks to the inverters. One is the backup address that I used to switch it to. Then two. So now if I come down here, and I hit this dip switch from all down to one up, flip the breaker, and then it should appear on one. So there's all six batteries, but when you do that and you have it on EG4 mode, you're going to get the 61 air. So what I do is I just check the, the data on the batteries occasionally, flip the dip, switch back to zero, breaker off, breaker on. You see that the air went away and then for some reason it'll say it's communicating but when I look at the, the data in the app, it doesn't show the charge percentage. So what I end up doing, I pull the cord out again, let it get 61 air, and then I'll plug it back in, and it'll start working. But when you do that, you lose comms with the uh, BMS test tool. All right, hopefully that helps those who are having trouble with um, communicating with the EG4 batteries when they're using the an address a battery with an address zero. All right, a few other things you can check if you're still having issues. You can check the connections at the cable here. You can see the orientation. And then on the other end, so it plugs in, and you see the cables are all on as I we're looking at it here in the image. They're on the left. So on the outside edge, we got the green, and then we have the white.